got a couple really cool books in the mail this week. I got these for free. They were sent to me by my bud and friend of the show, Michael Salzman. He's got an Amazon store where you can buy these books that he's written. Now, these are only two of a few that he's done. He's done the Atari 2600 Arcade Companion series books, which you'll see usually advertised at the very end of my Atari K2600 videos. He's done one on the M Network games, the Parker Brothers. He's got several different books that he's put together. So if you like this kind of stuff, you know, you may want to check out uh, his uh, Amazon store and check out some of these books he's done. We're going to take a look at these two here really quick. He sent me the unauthorized Atari 2600 Activision Companion, the collector's edition. That's pretty cool. And also the unauthorized Atari 2600, a magic companion. Two really great Atari 2600 game companies from back of the day. I love Activision games and I love the magic games. They did some really cool stuff. So let's take a quick look at these books. Look, look at what's inside. Take a look at the Activision companion. The way his format of his books work is he'll take a game for example, Enduro. He'll show a gameplay picture. It is black and white. It would have been cool if it would have been color, but hey, it's cool. Gives a release date for it, the author of the game, what controllers, how many number of players. And then he talks about the game. He gives like a little story talking about how he discovered it and everything else. And then further on, while he's looking at the game, talks about the options, how you control it the design of the game, the strategy of the game, and a final analysis where he summarizes the game and gives some final thoughts. That is pretty awesome. The book is laid out really nice. It shows the box art, picture of the cartridge itself, how the box came. If you're familiar with the Atari 2600 Game by Game podcast by Ferg, this is kind of like what Ferg does when he talks about the different games. It's just in a book format. It's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Of course, in the front of the book, we have a nice little index that lists all the game and what page you're on, so you can flip to it really fast if you want to take a look at it. Pretty awesome. And then in the very back, he talks about some of his other books that you can check out. Right there's the two arcade ones. Those are going to be pulled from Amazon here fairly soon. So if you want to get those, I highly recommend you pop on there and get them. I don't have these yet. I need to buy them since I've been, you know, talking about the Atari uh, arcade ports. Atari 2600 arcade ports. But I just haven't picked them up yet, so I better get on the ball. So now let's look at the uh, Magic one. It's laid out exactly like the Activision one. Same format. Let's, for example, let's go find... Uh, there's Dragonfire. Dragonfire's good. Oh, Demon Attack. See? Exact same format. Shows the cartridge, game screen. The designer, which I like how he lists all the designers of the year. Because a lot of times, you know, you wonder who programmed these games. Talks about how the game was played. And just like this. Just like the other one. History, options, control, design, strategy, analysis. These are laid out really, really nice. I mean, they're a great book to have. If you're into the Atari 2600 like I am, you might want to take a look at these uh, for your collection. A great reference material to talk about all the different games that were available in the 2600. So anyway, I'll put a link down in the show notes down below to Michael's Amazon store. So you can check out all these different books he's done. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.